go 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 yeah yeah and then they'd call like all their buddies be like hey this gringo is got go 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 so like three or four more of them would go yeah go 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 I was in the military I'm all for hey these guys are working their butts off, it's hot. Oh, no, you can't have a Coca-Cola. I want to get pulled over and detained. No, 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 you can have all the Cokes you want. Lots of diesel, mucho diesel. We came back through for some lunch, and this is our favorite margarita in all of Baja. So we want to see how they make their margaritas. All right, we are cruising down through the Cuesta del Infierno. Loosely translates into the highway to hell. We haven't filled up in about two or three weeks. Lots of diesel, mucho diesel. There was a military checkpoint coming up uh, just before San Ignacio, but it's also where rice and beans are. Yeah, is but at. the checkpoint is just after rice and beans, so we had to stop for lunch. Okay, yeah. so we're back to the rice and beans. We're not stopping, we got more traveling to do today. We came back through for some lunch, and this is our favorite margarita in all of Baja. So we want to see how they make their margaritas. So, cuantos de limones? And it was really cool, so the owner of Rice and Beans was there, and he actually, well, I told him, hey, this is our favorite margarita in all of Baja. I think he felt- He was like, he was I know, <laughs> I'll tell you why. Here is him showing you, step by step, how he makes his margaritas and I should charge for this information, but I'm all about sharing the wealth. <laughs> and uh, the, the secret ingredient we found out is when he makes his sugar, his simple, simple sugar, syrup. or yeah, simple syrup, he uses brown sugar, not white sugar. And that brown sugar is what gives this rice and beans margarita its very unique and amazing flavor. So good. <laughs> it, yeah, it was such a good margarita. We actually stopped to get lunch and margaritas before driving through a military checkpoint. Probably not yeah, the best plan, <laughs> but we figured, hey, we'll you just have half of one. This is not dangerous. It's too sharp, but I want to put three. Oh, okay. And we're strong. Otro más, otro más. But then he went. We did. <laughs> he also did it, added extra shots and stuff. He made it a yeah. Half. We basically each had one. <laughs> I wasn't driving, so good yeah. luck, babe. Definitely, if you're in Baja and you want to have a great margarita, rice and beans is yes. a good place to check it out and get one. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, muchas gracias for coming. Rice and beans to the world, to the whole world. All right, you ready made, for this? We made margarita for French people, for German, Italian, for Spain. Total, the, total we same. have uh, some nights, 17, 20 uh, different kind of uh, uh, countries. Oh, wow, yeah. Rice and beans is me for most of the people like to come. Sí, sí. Gracias. Ha <laughs> ha
Yeah. <laughs> Tucker agrees. The margarita was well worth the stop at Rice and Beans. Really good margaritas. And so as you mentioned, there's a checkpoint just outside of Rice and Beans, and there's actually several more on our route north. And in our experience, just as a heads up, mm -hmm. if you're if you find yourself a Baja, there was much more scrutiny on the travel north than there was on the travel south. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is for drug trafficking or what it was for, but this they were much more thorough. We <clears throat> definitely got stuck a few times at these checkpoints, and uh, they would come through and do do more thorough searches. Um, but uh, I mean, either way, as long as you don't have anything you shouldn't have. They walk through, check everything out, and you're on your way. They also may try to give away your Coca-Colas. Yeah, yeah. Be prepared. <laughs> I was in the military. I'm all for, hey, these guys are working their butts off. It's hot. It became a trend, <laughs> though, that they would say, oh, that he looked in a fridge, and oh, he get, hey, can I have a Coca-Cola? And like, oh, no, you can't have a Coca-Cola. I want to get pulled over and detained. <laughs> no, 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 you can have all the Cokes you want. So, well, no, no, so Jesse would say, of course, yeah, see, 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 Coca-Cola better too, yeah, yeah. And then they'd call like all their buddies, be like, hey, this gringo, he's got a Coca-Cola. <laughs> so like three or four more of them would go, yeah, Coca-Cola. And side <laughs> note, in the States, Coca-Cola, you can, it's so cheap and easily available, but in Baja, Mexico, it's also, it's more expensive and it's harder to find. So it's kind of like this, I don't know, it was kind of a, I don't know, whatever, you know, there's a special thing down there. I but, wish uh, we could say it was a bribe, like we were doing something cool, but we weren't. <laughs> they were just taking our Cokes. There, there, well, no, actually, there was one checkpoint. This time it's not military, it's just police. Uh, but, oh, actually, no, there is. Guy. Yeah, there is a military guy. Everybody's packing uh, heat. I had night vision uh, monocu monoculars. Oh, my goodness. And this is for capturing some nighttime photography. Also, I thought, like, hey, we do a lot of boondocking, and it would be nice at nighttime to be able to like look outside if something feels off, whatever, if I was just kind of unsure of our safety. It'd be nice to be able to put the MVGs on and look out there and check it out. And uh, I have this mount that you can mount to a rifle or a helmet, whatever, military stuff. And so the dude, like he finds this little, it, it's a PVS 14 ATN in the night vision goggle. And so like he, he pops it open and he's like, oh, this is this is for, for for a gun. You must, you know. And I'm like, no, no, no. This is for my camera gear. I'm like, <gasps> like with my limited Spanish, I'm trying to explain. Like, well, it, it yes. wasn't just for camera gear, but it's also just for like, hey, what if we're boondocking and there's some sketchy people like outside? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I wanted to have this for for safety. He thought I must have like a military rifle. This is designed to mount onto like an AR-15 or an M4 <laughs> rifle. So uh, it took a little while to explain to him, hey, this is just night vision goggles, which I think you're still not supposed to have. We finally got through that and like, I'm like trying to keep my cool, but I'm like, holy crap, so now am we I about feel to go to like, jail? Yeah, now we feel like, like, okay, we've done something so wrong and we didn't know that it was wrong, but now that we know, we are freaked out. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that was probably our most exciting moment at the checkpoints, but aside from exciting. that, bad kind of that exciting. Scary. But anyways, we got through there and continue north. With this challenging terrain in Baja, it would have been real nice to have a set of snap pads. <laughs> we do have some now, and they make a huge difference for places like right here where we're on very uneven terrain. It gives us a larger footprint, and in our case, the prime snap pads are over three times larger than the original jack size. Consider these your RV's flip-flops from Mexico, or basically anywhere you wouldn't want to walk barefoot, that's where you need these snap pads. Um, but they're also eco-friendly. They're made out of recycled tires, which is awesome. But that way you can just set it and forget it. Check out this link right over here if you want to know more about the snap pads that we have on our RV, as well as the snap pads that might fit your RV. We also have a ton of other great resources to jumpstart your trip. Yeah, things like downloads, checklists, discounts, promo codes, everything that will save you a ton of money. And our next stop off, we got nearby Ensenada. Uh, we pulled into Las Canadas, which is actually a theme park. I have no so idea. So cool, but we were in wine country and if we weren't trying to book it to Texas, I so would have loved to take our time through there. It is gorgeous. And we've heard a lot of people talk about just how beautiful it is. There's hiking there, plenty of wine tours. And more surfing in that area too. It's not a Pacific coast. I'll go surf you go have some wine. Well, I would have surfed too. But anyway, <laughs> this theme park looked really, really cool, and they were they were very welcoming. All right, this is our last night in Baja. We're just south of Ensenada, and 
Baja once again has thrown us another freaking curveball. <laughs> Your bias goes straight, but I'm gonna go right. It only takes a few minutes to go right. I also, I think, I, I think I can see the border up there. I'm pretty sure. Arriving to your destination. 